Hi all, today we are going to discuss something very important regarding TCS DCA Base Skill 2. Guys, in this video, we will discuss some important topics from the syllabus of Base Skill 2. We will also discuss the questions and MCQ which were asked in June this year based on these important topics. And I will also provide you a study material links through which you can easily prepare the syllabus and guys if you want more questions based on these important topics in upcoming days then please do comment like this video and subscribe the channel so that i will be bringing part two of this session okay so guys let's discuss some of important topics first so the first important topic that is given in syllabus is six principle of influence guys this is very important topic because from this topic they asked at least four to five questions in last dc exam so you have to go to the google and type there six principle of influence then you can find here reciprocity scarcity authority commitment and consistency liking and consensus these are six principle of influence so our approach will be like we will discuss each of these terms one by one and then we will try to solve the question based on these terms okay so first let's discuss what is reciprocity so if you look at here then you can find that let's suppose if someone sends you a birthday card then you will almost certainly want to send them one in return like if somebody is sending you a birthday card then most probably you will be wanting to send a gift for them so reciprocity is rule of favoring let's discuss a question based on this so if we can discuss a question based on this then you can see here charities that send you half a dozen greeting cards along with a request for donation are using the compliance technique of what as you have seen here just now that if somebody sends you a birthday card you have to send a gift as a turn of favor similarly charity sending you half dozen greeting cards they are expecting a favor from you so this is a technique of reciprocation so answer will be a reciprocation next question is again based on reciprocity you can see here the rule of reciprocity is a social norm in which a person feels obliged to return the favor if someone does something for them so the answer is true yes it is true i have already explained the concept of reciprocity to all of you okay so our next term is scarcity so what it means actually you might have seen on hotel websites like only five seats left at this price they do this to create a sense of scarcity so let's suppose they are asking a question on scarcity in future then you have to tick on this topic okay i hope scarcity is clear to all of you now next term is authority so authority means nothing but a sense of authority okay a sense of titlement you can see here dentists in white coats are used to sell us toothpaste airline staffs wear uniform to remind us of their authority Many email signature is appended with a string of qualification to remind us of individual authority. Okay, so next question is based on this authority. You can see here which principle of persuasion is associated to titles, tailors, and tune. So title is associated with authority. So the answer is authority. I think this is also clear to all of you. Now next term is liking. Okay, you can see here next term is liking so next question is based on liking itself so if you can see here what is liking so liking is nothing but a feature in which whatever customer is picking in his hand we say that this is very good and customer gets influenced because they like the thing that their selected product is liked by someone else also so if you can look at the next question then this is based on liking in which a person working on a shop and customer comes to the shop he picks a material and asks which one do you think is the best fit taken aback and without thinking bill answered i like the one right hand it's nicer color and seems pretty sturdy to me and this influences the customer because his selected product is liked by 
द शॉप कीपर ओके तो आई द ऑप्शन लाइकिंग इज करेक्ट हियर आई होप द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सिक्स प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस फ्यू क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस टॉपिक इन नेक्स्ट सेशन वी विल डिस्कस फ्यू मोर क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस टॉपिक लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज नेगोसिएशन टेक्निक दे मे आस्क वॉट आर डिफरेंट नेगोसिएशन टेक्निक्स एक्सप्लेन ईच वन ऑफ देम वॉट आर डिफरेंट स्टेप्स इन नेगोशिएशन सो लेट्स डिस्कस नेगोशिएशन टेक्निक्स वन बाई वन एंड देन वी विल ट्राई टू टेक द क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन ईच टेक्निक सो द फर्स्ट वन इज वाइस टेक्निक सेकेंड वन इज क्यूवरिंग पेन टेक्निक एंड द लास्ट वन इज निबल टेक्निक सो दे मे गिव डेफिनेशन ऑफ एनी वन ऑफ दिस टेक्निक एंड दे मे आस्क विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टेक्निक बेस्ट डिस्क्राइब्स दिस स्टेटमेंट I will show you some questions based on this but before that let me describe what is quivering pen technique first so if you go to the google then you can find that you ask for something extra before you sign the deal in quivering pen technique okay you ask for something extra just at the end before closing the deal in quivering pen technique okay let's see a question based on this you can see here the question is like that when negotiating asking for something extra at the end right before you make your agreement is which technique you can see here here are different options wise technique quivering pen technique nibble technique so the answer is quivering pen technique okay now let's discuss next question you can see here they are asking why technique is tactic of one of the following options identify the correct answer you can see here the options are persuasion negotiation storytelling conflict resolution so the answer is negotiation they may also ask what is wise technique because they have already asked which of the following describes quivering pen technique similarly they may ask what is wise technique so if you go to the google then you can find that what is wise technique mission of wise technique you can see here a common technique used by negotiators when presented with a proposal is to say you will have to do better than that okay saying you will have to do better than that better than previous is a common technique that is known as voice technique used by negotiators and this can be very powerful statement because the second person tries to improve in that so next time they may ask what is voice technique also they may also ask what is nibble technique so you have to go to the google and search out what is nibble technique study something about it in next session they may ask question on nibble technique okay now the next question is they may also ask what are the different steps in negotiation process okay so for that you have to go to google and search five steps of negotiation process so when you do that then you can find different steps okay i am saying this because they have already asked a question on this you can see here the question is dash and dash is not a step in negotiation process dash and dash is not a negotiation step in process okay so the options are clarification justification brainstorming evaluation feedback planning getting ready behavior result okay so if you go to google and find out what are the steps of negotiation process then you can see here there are five step the first one is preparation and planning second one is definition of ground rules okay and third one is clarification and justification fourth one is bargaining and problem solving and the last one is closure and implementation implementation mean implementing the result okay so you have to study each of these preparation and planning what we do in but among these five no way are you are seeing evaluation and feedback so evaluation and feedback is not part of negotiation process so guys we have discussed questions based on these two topics in upcoming videos we will discuss questions based on 3 4 5 these topics and also these topics okay